Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar Neo and I'm working on a little trick I've been using with a particular tool in Luminar Neo, which I love and uh, which is super powerful and really useful. But I think uh, as I've talked about a number of times in different videos, it can get uh, over the top quickly. That tool is Accent AI. Great tool, but it does so much to a photo that I think you gotta be careful. So I made a previous video where I talked about using it at the very end of your editing process. Today I'm not doing that, but I wanna show you kind of a different and what I consider maybe a better way to use this incredibly powerful tool. Now, if you like this kind of stuff around Luminar Neo, I'm actually building a preset pack. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my newsletter, there is a link down below. Take it to my website. You also get some freebies, a couple of skies, a couple of textures, a couple of LUTs, things like that. Anyway, let's get into it. I've got a photo here and let's say I'm in Develop Raw and I'm gonna do some just kind of some basic stuff, not like a major edit and maybe cool it off a little bit, you know, something about like that. And so pretty simple kind of basic moves, but now I'm gonna go into Accent AI. And as you know with Accent AI, or maybe you don't if the tool is new to you, but Accent AI does a lot of stuff. It pops the light, it also pops contrast and color, saturation, things like that. So the point is, if you drag it very far like that, it gets over the top really quickly. Now, the thing is, that looks terrible when you apply it across the whole photo but it doesn't look so bad really in certain areas. And that's what I'm talking about in this video. Now I'm gonna pull it back a little bit, even at 60 or 62, it's too much across the entire photo. But if you use a masking tool and specifically the radial gradient, you get a lot of control over how that's gonna look in your photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a radial grad gradient right there. I'm gonna invert it. And what I'm gonna do is just basically shape this a little bit and I wanna pull that in maybe about like that, pull that out a little bit. So what's happening with the radial gradient is inside this center circle, you're getting the full effect, all that red. But this outer uh, section between that uh, inner circle and outer circle is the fade. Uh, that's the area, the gradient zone, where the amount of the uh, effect starts to fall off from the inner to the outer. It just gradually decreases. So you can increase or decrease how long that fade lasts, right? So like that, it's going to fade off pretty quickly. I tend to uh, prefer kind of a, a little bit more generous fade. In other words, a little bit larger gradient zone. Now I'm going to leave it like that. So you can kind of see what my radial mask looks like. And I'm just gonna click on adjustment. And now I can play with this because I've got it set. And you know, it doesn't really look that bad, even as high as 80 something, whereas at in the high 80s across the entire photo looked pretty bad. But just adding it with the radial gradient to that little zone there, there it is before, and there it is now. Nice little pop of light, nice little pop of interest, and it doesn't kind of mess up the rest of the photo. Let me show you a couple of more examples. Okay, here's one from a uh, penitentiary that's now a museum outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The base photo started like that. I made a couple of edits here in Develop Raw and now it looks like that. And once again, I'm going to Accent AI, which is here in the Enhance AI tool, right below Develop. Now, if I drag this crazy over the top, then the whole scene looks crazy over the top. But once again, I'm gonna pull it back pretty high, like 78, which is not what I would ever do if I'm applying it across the entire photo. But hey, with a radial gradient, just put in place. And once again, you've gotta invert it. And I'm gonna go in and just kind of make some adjustments here. Now, I don't always use a radial gradient in a vertical manner, although I have in this, uh, these two photos so far. It just so happens that that's kind of how it's working uh, for these photos. But here I am just kind of adjusting the gradient zone here. Just again, you just kind of play around, experiment till you get it looking the way you kind of think you want it to look. And let's say I'm happy with that as being kind of the focal area for this filter. I can go to adjustments and make adjustments accordingly. It's at 78. I might even go a little bit higher. And let me show you the before. There it is after my edits with the develop tool, which impacted the entire photo. And then here is Accent AI just in that area. So maybe it's a little too much, but still, even at 80, across the entire photo, 80 is way too much. But 80 in that one little spot takes that barber chair from there to there, really centers your attention, helps you shape the light really nicely, and I think makes the photo pop. Okay, and here's a landscape example. And same kind of thing, I did some basic stuff in develop, took the photo from that to that, very minor. Uh, it was, this is Oxbow, not Oxbow Bend. Uh, this is, 
I can't remember the name of the lake. Anyway, it's outside of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm sure many of you will know it and feel free to leave me a comment and tell me what the name of this place is. I forgot. But anyway, those are the Grand Tetons in um, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And again, Accent AI. And if I go to 100 across the entire photo, you know, it doesn't look terrible, to be honest, but it's definitely overdone. So I'm going to pull that back and put it, like, say, around 60 or so. I'm going to get my radial gradient, and I'm going to drop this guy right in there. And I'm going to invert it, of course. And here I'm going to make it a little bit thinner and kind of narrow and stretch that out because what I really want to do is pop those mountains. I'm going to decrease the gradial uh, gradient zone. Actually, I'm shrinking the entire thing right now. you got to come off of those circles in order to adjust that, but pull in that gradient zone a little bit. Maybe pull this out, stretch it out a little bit more. Let's pretend that that's where I want it to be. And click on Adjustments. And if you take a look at it, there it is before, and there it is now. So it's got a nice little fade where it goes from kind of like, hey, I'm popped, you know, the, that center area that I kind of popped with Accent AI to where it kind of gradually diminishes into the blue sky. So one more time, there it is before, and there it is now. And then, of course, once you have your mask in place, you can adjust to uh, season to taste, as I like to say. So there it is at 100. Even at 100, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Um, and the nice thing is, it's not necessarily because it's just contained within that little masked area. It's not going to blow out the blues and make them crazy over the top. I still think I'd probably go like 75 or 80 on this one, but that's the tool, XNAI. And even at really high amounts, when you contain it with uh, a radial gradient, that radial mask, it really, it, it obviously, by definition, it's just keeping it within a certain bounds. And I think if you have that gradual fade over the edges, it just gives you a nice little pop. And it kind of blends into the photograph overall, which I think really helps accentuate the subject, which is kind of what I'm talking about here, is accentuating your subject and really getting it to stand out by using Accent AI at a high amount, but containing that within a certain point uh, or portion of the photo using a radial gradient mask. Hope it gives you some ideas, my friends. Certainly experiment with it. Every photo is going to be different, of course, but check it out. Try that on your own images. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you soon, my friends. You guys take care, and until then, adios.